Hmm, I'm trying to figure out what my favorite is. Who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> Today, Melody and I are back to bring you some more romance, manga, and anime recommendations. We are also going to taste test a bunch of Japanese snacks from Baksu. I'm gonna give manga recommendations, and Melody is gonna give anime recommendations, and then in between, we're gonna eat snacks. 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 Um, snacks. So I got this box from Boxview. Oh wait, but this isn't the sponsor of the video. No. The sponsor is something else, but Future Cindy will edit that clip in. Go ahead. Future Cindy here to tell you that this video has been sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. They offer prescription glasses and sunglasses that are up to 70% off of retail prices, and you can shop online without having to go anywhere. They offer over 6,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses that cover in-house brands and also designer brands. You can pretty much find any style and color that you can think of, including specialty glasses like sports glasses, kids glasses, etc. A complete pair of eyeglasses and sunglasses start off at only $30, and free basic prescription lenses are included in every frame. They also have glasses that help for blue light blocking, which I've applied to all of my glasses. Those basically help reduce eye strain whenever you're looking at a screen, which is basically what I do all the time. So I got a bunch of new glasses, including the one that I'm wearing throughout this video and right now. This is the Atoto Bellona, which is a stylish round frame that I chose in tortoise gold. This is pretty much what I wear every day now because it's super comfortable, but I got three other glasses to show you. This one is the Atoto Waterloo, which I chose in gold. I chose this because I like that oversized look. I like the round rims. It's a fine wire metal frame, so it's very light. This one is the Campbell, which I chose because of the square frame. I like how this one has translucent hues because it currently matches with my hair color. And then the last pair of glasses that I got is called the Amelia E Plymouth. This is a full rim frame, and as you can tell, it has a golden rim. So this is when I want to be more sleek and sophisticated. So overall, I'm pretty happy with all the glasses that I got. I try to choose different styles every time. Also, even if you're not into glasses, they give you 25% off of contact lenses brand. So that's a perfect way to stock up. They have virtual gift cards so you can send it to other people. And they even have a virtual mirror where you can try on any pair of frames and see what they look like on your face by uploading a photo. So if you are interested in any of the glasses and you wanna get a good deal, you can click on the link in my description below to check out their collections. Would you like to do the honors? Let's just do this one. These are uni rice crackers. This delicious fried cracker pulls its lovely umami flavor from uni, which is a sea urchin and soy sauce. It doesn't taste like a regular chip, like Cindy's saying. It tastes a little bit, a little bit different. It's definitely a savory chip, but I don't taste the sea urchin like you said. I don't either. It just tastes different. Okay. We're doing a great job already. Great food review. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in the mini chocolate. It's so cute. Oh, oh it's pink. These delicate cookies are flavored with Ano Imo, a special sweet potato grown exclusively in Tanegashima. The closest I'll have to a makeup pose. I'm so sorry. Mmm. It is sweet. It tastes like a sweet potato. But the texture is interesting. The texture is like kind of light on the outside. This one. You got the chestnut pie. Chestnut pie. Inside is a smooth chestnut and white bean paste that's sweet and balances nicely against the savory crust. Mm. It tastes like the white bean paste. It's not bad. Mmm. It's too thick. Oh, it's too thick on the outside. <laughs> it's very thick. Whoa. Yeah, my mouth is full. <laughs> I just shoved it in my mouth. The crust is very thick, and I think that's what's like tripping me up. I'm gonna go with the pure potato. These may seem like plain potato chips, but close attention reveals lingering umami notes, adding a richness from the addition of sesame oil. It tastes like Pringles. It tastes like a potato. Yeah. It tastes like Pringles. It tastes like a Pringles potato chip. It tastes like Pringles, but less salty. But they're not the shape, though. They're probably healthier than Pringles. really been reading manga that much or watching anime that much. Take these recommendations with a grain of salt. These were really just something that we pulled out of our ass for content. The one that I'm going to recommend for this round is... I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> Shit. 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 Shoujo manga death girl. Oh. Hot guy. <laughs> a sign of affection. The story is about this girl who goes to college and she's deaf. She meets this guy who is 
much more like worldly and cultured because he's constantly traveling to different countries. It's hard for me to describe these very vanilla wholesome stories because nothing like very action packed happens. It's just a cute story it's about two people. Yeah, it's very slice of life. It's a cute story about two people meeting. From the moment that they first meet each other, there is like this instant attraction that they have towards one another, oh. but it's not like physical attraction. And I thought what was unique about this was that he, first of all, is so surprised that she's deaf and uses sign language, but he starts to be really into like learning how to sign and mm -hmm. he wants to know more about what her experiences are like. What does she hear if she can hear? He wants her to like teach him how to like sign as well. And he wants to look up videos and learn how. And she is super fascinated by the fact that he's able to travel to so many places and he knows multiple languages. Yeah. Every time they hang out, like he has all these souvenirs that he brings over from the different countries that he's traveled to. Sometimes he gives the souvenirs to her. And it's so cute because like, for example, there's this one scene where he gives her like a coin from this other country and then she's just so admirable of it just of how like the details of it and how it's different from the yen in Japan how different money looks like and currency looks like in different countries I just like it because I think it's sweet that these two characters are attracted to each other just because they kind of live different worlds but they want to learn so much about each other's world and I just think that's oh. so sweet they're a vanilla couple but I really like them they're the kind of stability that I want in my life so what anime do you recommend mine is called Kenka Bancha Otomen this is an anime that I watched after my wisdom teeth surgery but I was very much aware of like my surroundings and I watched a lot of anime over that weekend and this is the one that stood out it is very very short I believe that it is only eight episodes and each episode is at most 10 minutes it takes place in a high school for delinquent boys the main character has to disguise herself as this, a boy as a boy of course as a boy always yes. why does she have to join the delinquent I'm school? trying to remember the boy that she's impersonating is the son of a high profile like mafia guy but he is very different he doesn't want to be involved in any of that and so when he sees this girl who looks like him he gets her to go for him I believe that she's more of a tough girl like she stands mm -hmm. up for herself and she just Ooh, has, she's not like other girls she's not like other girls, all right you know? all right she goes into the school and she pretty much like starts to kind of get like a small following and there are four like love interests my favorite is the silver haired guy does he have long hair? I knew it. I knew it. I know he, her freaking okay. type when it comes to anime, In guys. my opinion, he's a total flirt. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what my favorite is. Who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> His older brother. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ooh. Ooh, is that him? That's the older brother. But remember that that's not her older brother. Cool. Cool. I choose him. I choose him. Let's do a little one. So what you just picked was the Kurumi Walnut Mochi. This soft mochi has a lovely texture that isn't too sticky and has chopped walnuts kneaded throughout. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? It tastes like a pork grind. <laughs> Was that mochi? <laughs> we read the wrong one. Oh, that wasn't! We got the shiitake mushroom black pepper arare. Just opening the package of this rice cracker is enough to reveal the rich, savory aroma of shiitake mushrooms. I can taste the mushrooms I in can this. taste the pepper. It does kind of taste like a pork rind to me with like pepper added to it. Since I accidentally read that, I will pick up the mochi. The mochi. This tastes like mochi. The texture is interesting. It has chopped walnuts kneaded throughout. The coating is interesting. You can kind of taste the faint sugar, but it's not overpowering. It's nice. I like it. You can taste the walnut. Ooh, this makes me want walnut ice cream. Oh, that does sound good. So the one that you picked was Smile Harvest Savory Sesame Biscuit. White sesame seeds are baked into each biscuit and add the gentle hint of fragrant sesame. I like these. Yeah. They taste like graham crackers. But I like that they're thin. Mm hmm Because it feels more light. Because usually with graham crackers, you know, the pretty thick ones? Yeah. They get kind of heavy oh, or they get stuck are... in your teeth. These are good. So these are pure gummy petite grapes. These gummies are shaped like little hearts with a sour exterior to balance a sweet interior. <gasps> like me. It tastes like gummies. Ooh. Yeah. The sourness kicks in later. <laughs> The second manga that I'm gonna bring up for this video is actually a shoujo manga that I avoided for the longest time. When I used to avidly read shoujo, I would literally just scroll through whatever manga app that I had and I would read through like the synopses to see which one I wanted to pick up. And every time I read the synopses for this one, I always skipped next. One day, I just ran out of stuff to read so I decided to pick it up and I ended up really liking it. So the reason why I didn't want to pick it up initially was because the synopsis of this 
is about a girl who ends up having a crush on this popular guy in her class but the popular guy has a girlfriend already that's why i didn't want to like pick it up at first when it comes to opposite sex relationships i need the guy to be the one yearning the girl can't be the one yearning because i want to project yeah. myself into the girl so no matter what it's the girl that needs to get yearned over okay. also i just don't like it when like the guy already has a girlfriend because i don't want it to be a cheating yeah i don't want it to be like a cheating kind of story fortunately it turned out to be much more wholesome again the What's it called? Oh, oh right. Okay. <laughs> it's called Strobe Edge. Look at him. He's so cute. He's adorable. Yeah. He's just a nice, sweet, young boy. He's kind of shy and reserved and quiet. And I think that was like the appeal of him. Other girls liked him because he was so mysterious. But really, he's kind of just like awkward, like mm -hmm. on the inside. Yeah. But because he has like a handsome face, obviously, like that just adds to the, the mystery, the mystique of it. Unfortunately, he already has a girlfriend and his girlfriend is this girl that he met in middle school. They started dating since middle school. Now they're in high school and she doesn't go to the same school as he does. Also, she's a model. So oh, <laughs> she got some competition model right here. Model girlfriend. But the girl's actually really sweet. That's what I also was relieved about. Like there wasn't any like petty girl rivalry or stuff like that. The main girl realizes he has a girlfriend and she's like, oh man, this sucks. So she just like, this okay we're just gonna be friends and that's it mm -hmm. and that's the end of the story no I'm just what? kidding I'm just kidding <laughs> they built up a good friendship together it was never like romantic or anything like that throughout the story you can kind of see how the main guy drifts away from his girlfriend they're kind of growing separately she's just more focused on her career stuff of course um, absolutely as a girl should good for her good for her I remember there was this one part where she read her horoscope she read the career section and she was so excited about it and then her brother took it and then looked at it and he was like why are you excited about it your love life says like it's terrible and then she realized that she didn't even bother to read the love section so the real reason that cindy likes this one is because it's about a girl who well, focuses on her career she's not the main girl though but i was gonna say you're focusing on okay them. yeah for them to break up it felt more of like a natural reason yeah. rather than like the girl being bitchy or like cheating so i just liked how they naturally drifted apart from each other because i feel like that's just life you might outgrow like another person he ends up having feelings for the main girl but then around this time the main girl is very adamant about we're just friends nothing more it's just like a very <laughs> prolonged relationship but i think i liked the slow burn of it i liked how they had that foundation there was that initial attraction but the timing was just off so they just became friends instead and there was that solid foundation of friendship for a long time before Which finally they aligned with each other so my recommendation is going to be a supernatural romance it is called Beyond the Boundary. What is Beyond the Boundary about? So Beyond the Boundary is about what it... it Give me one second. Okay, <laughs> while you remember, I'm gonna look up the character so what I can tell it? you which one I think is the hottest. <laughs> So Beyond the Boundary is about a girl named Mirai and a boy named Akihito. He is at school one day after school and he looks up and sees this girl at the edge of the roof. She looks like she is about to commit suicide, so he runs up to save her. She promptly turns around and stabs him in the stomach as one does. So from then you- She's like, dude, you messed up my plan. I had a good thing going on. <laughs> and you come to find out he is some kind of immortal that he does not die from this stab. And then you find out that the knife that Mirai Mirai uses to stab him comes from her own blood. And so the next step is finding out that Mirai is some kind of outcast in the demon world because there is a demon world in this universe. Oh, she's not like other demons. She's not like other demons. Wait, did he know that he's immortal? Akihito has a lot more secrets than he lets on. Overall, like the friendship dynamics are great. The other characters are super funny. The animation is gorgeous. I want to say this plot twist, but mm. it is to me, I find it such a good plot twist. So they understand each other better. Better. I remember when I watched that episode, not only is it a cool episode as far as like animation and like what happens goes, but like Oh, I'm remembering it now and I'm getting like excited. I'm like, oh, I remember, <laughs> I remember watching that and feeling so like pumped. Man, my high school life was so uninteresting compared, compared to, to this. Melody chose the Benimo Purple Yam Pie. Benimo is a purple yam known for its striking color, natural sweetness, and superfood status.
I like purple yam. It's also very thick. It does taste like pie, actually. It's like a mini pie. The outside is buttery. The inside tastes like purple yam. It tastes like it's thin. I chose the Imokari Cube. This crunchy snack is essentially a cubed fried sweet potato. It really lets the natural flavor of the sweet potato shine in all of its sweet, delicious glory. Oh, it's cute. It's just like a tiny little cube. Oh, this is hard. Wow, you could break a tooth. It's basically like if you slice a sweet potato into cubes and then you put it in the fridge. <laughs> so it's you bake rock it solid. And then, <laughs> and then the you break some teeth. That, that's exactly what it tastes like. So this is the Hoshi Cha Roasted Green Tea Financier. This cake is dense, rich, and packed with flavorful aroma of Hoshi Cha Roasted Green Tea with notes of chocolate, caramel, and almost fruity black tea. That's interesting. I can taste the green tea. The green tea is very strong. Literally green tea in the form of a cake. I feel like usually green tea flavors for like ice cream or cake is much more sweeter than it actually is. Yeah. And this one was more accurate to yeah. how the green tea tastes like. Actually tastes like. Like it actually tastes like this was made from the leaves. But the last one. It's so cute. This one is Mori no Madeline apple. This Aww. snack is definitely not a traditional French Madeline, but the jammy apple filling adds a layer of luxury. We didn't even know what's missing. Oh, I like it. I really like it. The cake feels soft. It's like light and fluffy. The last manga that I am going to recommend is an old one called Monkey High. So the first two mangas that I've mentioned have had ditzy, klutzy main characters. This one, we're switching it up with a character who has like a resting bitch face in terms of appearance and also personality. She is this rich girl who used to go to a private school and her dad was, I believe, a politician. Her dad got involved in some kind of scandal as most politicians of are. Course. I think he got in trouble for embezzling or something like that, but he was just doing shady shit. The private school kicked her out. She goes to this public school. She kind of looks down on the people there because she's not used to these commoners. She sees them as like a group of monkeys because mm -hmm. they're so immature and like juvenile and like a lot of them are like delinquents. The main guy is the guy that she meets on her first day of school who she actually compares to a monkey because he's short and he has like round ears and he's always smiling like an idiot all the time. It's just this nice contrast She's beautiful, but she's very cold and icy. And he's just like a huge dork. And so they're the same height. <laughs> that looks so familiar. He's a short king, but he's so like endearing and like cute and charming. And he's able to like charm his way and melt her icy heart. Oh. So there's like a full cast of like, you know, classmates that she ends up becoming friends Friendly. with. Oh, and that's the popular guy that like hits on her, but she's like, no, go yeah. away. I like the short one. Yeah. yeah. She's like, Good I like my her. short king. She kind of like changes her mindset when she goes to this public school it wasn't doing her any favors to separate herself from like the rest of them or think that she's better than any of them when yeah. that's not true at all kind of like a hallmark christmas movie oh yeah girl. it's a small town yes yeah. precisely precisely that's what I was thinking. my last one is going to be one that i was actually very scared to mention because it is very 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 dear to my heart and that is the classmates like i want to say like cinematic universe but it's like manga universe classmates <laughs> is a boys love story the reason why i I love it so much is because it is the softest the softest story that I have ever read so the way that it starts it's at a boys school that is for people who are not very smart they're training to be my next suitor because that's the type of guy I'm into <laughs> this first year class that both Saojo and Kusakabe are in are asked to sing a song for this festival and in the process of singing this song Kusakabe looks over and realizes that um, this guy who he's never talked to isn't singing and so something happens and they end up meeting when Kusakabe discovers Sajo he's like practicing singing and so because Kusakabe mm. is a musician he says I can help you with that even though Sajo is like super surprised he says yes from there they start spending more time together Kusakabe who was I'm assuming straight to begin with it starts to develop feelings for Sajo Sajo is beautifully unaware and that Aww. it's great because like he's pining right yeah at some point when they're performing there is a third character who throughout the entire series he tries to get in between them it is not appropriate but these two boys constantly are always choosing each other the movie covers the first book but there's so much more mm. and it is just
just super cute. It is a little bit slice of life. They do go through their like moments of like rough patches where they're not understanding each other because they're both either very stubborn or very quiet or don't know how to express themselves. But through that though, they always have each other in mind. They always have each other in heart. I am not doing it justice to how much this one means to me. I love it so much. If you read it, I hope you feel as soft as I do Aww. when I go back and watch it. I recently went back and reread and rewatched it to see if it held up. Oh. It does. One more thing. One of my favorite things about the first three volumes that I have, I bought them right away. As soon as I realized they were mm. on sold, I pre-ordered all them three motherfuckers. That's how you so know. Fast. That's how you know she's serious about this. I bought the movie, the DVD, even though it cost like almost $70 and it was only one movie. First volume is Kusakabe, who's standing. The second volume is the third character, who's like kind of bending down and he's looking at the third cover which is Saojo. You have the two boys looking at each other and then this terrible main third character oh. like looking at him but he will never get in between them. The artist was like <sighs> planning that shit ahead of time. Thank you for recommending a boys love story because people watching this video like they're sick of my straight bullshit. No. <laughs> and I think it's interesting that the guy in the story that you're talking about thought that he was straight up until that point when he realized that he was more somewhere on the queer spectrum. And it's never, can I just say, it's never a fucking big deal to him. He's oh, just like, okay. I, I like this guy and I want to go out with him. Saja is the one who's like, at some point he's going to realize this is just a phase for him and, and you know, and, and Kusakabe never fucking steers. Like even, they do have moments where they steer away, but they're always for each other. Oh, yeah. I really like that, especially because there doesn't seem like there needs to be any label or boxing. It seems like he likes this character regardless of gender. Yeah. When I learned this year is this concept called compulsory heterosexuality. Essentially this concept of like just the assumption that you're oh, straight or like everything yeah, around yeah, you is yeah. straight because of what you... The world. Yeah, yeah no, because the of the world. world and because of like how you grew up and the media that you consume. And it sounds like he yeah. had experienced compulsory heterosexuality and then, and then he, you know, met someone and he realized that the world is so much bigger. And ironically, I feel like I just assumed straightness for so long because I grew up with shoujo manga. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, this is how it is. And so I really like that there's manga this is that the one you're talking about. A shoujo manga. As far as like it being boys love compared to other ones that I've read that are a little more fall thematically into what boys love is known for. This one again, guys, it's just soft. Unsubscribe for my channel and subscribe to Melody instead. Bye!